hey everyone how you doing welcome to another self say so video i hope you're all well so as you can tell from the title of this video i'm going to be talking about a british boy band that was formed in the late 90s and then suddenly disappeared and that is ultimate chaos this is a requested video so thank you so much for the request but before we get into the video, a very, very quick disclaimer. This video was purely done for entertainment, informational and commentary purposes. It's not to mock anyone. It's not to disrespect anyone. It's purely various information I found on the interwebs put together into one easy to digest video. So we're going to keep it cute. We're going to keep it polite. We're going to keep it respectful. And let's get into the video. Ultimate Chaos were a British boy band from the early 90s and were formed by Simon Cowell. The original members of the group consisted of Jomo Baxter, aka Jomo, Jade Del Pratt, Dwayne, Nick Grant, aka Nikki, and Sean. The group were originally known as Chaos, and in October 1992, they released their debut single titled Farewell My Summer Love, which was a cover version of the late Michael Jackson's 1984 original song. The single piece at number 55 on the UK singles chart spent a total of two weeks on the chart. It is not known what had happened to Sean and Dwayne or when or why they exited the group. However, a new lineup emerged and consisted of Jomo Baxter, aka Jomo B, Jade Del Pratt, Ryan Elliott, who is also the son of British musician Maxi Priest, Nick Grant, aka Nico G, and Hayden Eshun, who was nine years old at the time and the lead singer of the group. According to an April 2014 article in The Guardian, Hayden was billed as the Jackson of the group. It was also noted that the rest of the band were made up of Sunita's backing dancers. Simon and Sunita were dating during this time. Hayden previously appeared on Michael Barrymore's TV programme showcasing British talent. However, in an interview with Select MTV, the group explained that they already knew each other through school, family relations and living in the same area. They also said that they were all backing dancers for Sunita before they were spotted by a record company and Ultimate Chaos took off from there. Have you all uh, known each other for a long time or did you meet up for this project or, or had this all start out for you? Uh, we all knew each other, we all knew like, each other before, through, through like family relations, school, uh, living around the same area, like all different kind of contacts. Yeah. And how did, how did you then start up Ultimate Chaos? Dancing yeah. for Sunita. We danced for Sunita at yeah. first, and then basically we got seen by a record company. It all started from there. Yeah. The group eventually relaunched, changing their name to Ultimate Chaos. And in October 1994, the group released what would be their highest charting single, Some Girls. Some girls. Which peaked at number nine on the UK singles charts, spent a total of 10 weeks on the chart. The single did even better on the UK R&B charts, peaking at number three. In Ireland, the single peaked at number 22, and in Scotland, the single peaked at number 17. The group also supported British boy band Take That on their 1994 UK tour, which was Ultimate Chaos's first ever tour that they went on. And the first tour we ever went on was with Take That. Right. We did 40 oh, shows, 40 shows um, all over the UK, um, all the big arenas. Then in January 1995, the group released the single Hoochie Booty. Which beats at number 17 on the UK singles charts, when a total of five weeks on the chart. The single did much better on the UK R&B charts, peaking at number six. The single also peaked at number 13 in Ireland and number 29 in Scotland. The group then released another single, Show A Little Love. Peaked at number 23 on the UK singles chart, spent a total of five weeks on the chart. Again, the single did much better on the UK R&B charts, peaking at number four. The single peaked at number 23 in Ireland and number 31 in Scotland. Then in April 1995, the group released their debut album, Ultimate Chaos, which peaked at number 51 on the UK albums chart, spent a total of one week on the chart. In an interview with XOTV in January 2020, Hayden stated that before the release of their debut album, the group moved to Polydor Records. And then we moved on to Polydor signed to another label um that's when we kind of released our first album um which exciting was like times. yeah exciting times yeah, you know i was that. i was 12 when my first album came out in july 1995 the group released what would be their last single from the album right here which peaked at number 18 on the uk singles chart spent a total of five weeks on the chart the single did much better on the uk r b charts peaking at number six and speaking at number 29 in Scotland. Ultimate Chaos performed the track right here on the British television show, Surprise Surprise, that same year. And 
was featured on the Childliners record, The Gift of Christmas. In 1997, Ultimate Chaos released what would be the first single from their upcoming album Casanova, which was a cover of American R&B group Levert's 1987 hit song. Oh, Casanova peaked at number 24 on the UK singles charts, but in a total of three weeks on the chart. The single did even better on the UK R&B charts, peaking at number six. The single peaked at number 37 in Scotland, and in France, the single peaked at number four. The group also performed Will Smith's Men in Black on a French television show in 1997. The group then moved on to Mercury Records and in June 1998, the group released their second album, The Chaos Theory. However, the album did not enter the album charts in the UK. The album did, however, peak at number 49 in the Netherlands, spending a total of five weeks on the chart. In July 1998, the group re-released the single Casanova. <laughs> But this time, the single charted lower than when it was first released, peaking at number 29 on the UK single chart, spending a total of two weeks on the chart. However, the single did amazingly well internationally, peaking at number two in the Netherlands, number six in Belgium, number 18 in Australia, number 19 in Sweden, number 20 in Austria, number 37 in Germany, and number 39 in Switzerland. In the same year, the group released another single, My Lover. With you, you are my lover. However, the single failed to chart in the UK. But the single did do well internationally, peaking at number 10 in the Netherlands, number 28 in Belgium, and number 40 in France. The group also performed the single My Lover on a Belgian TV show. That same year, the group released another single, Smile Some More. You need to smile some more. However, the single did not enter the charts at all. Then in June 1999, the group released what would be their last single, Anything You Want, I've Got It. Anything you want, I've got it. Which peaked at number 52 on the UK single charts, but in a total of one week on the chart. The single did much better in Australia, peaking at number 20 on the ARIA singles charts, but in a total of 12 weeks on the chart. The single also peaked at number 57 in the Netherlands. The group also toured with music greats such as Diana Ross and Janet Jackson and met Stevie Wonder. Got to tour with so many great, you know, um, Diana Ross, wow. um, Janet Jackson. Who was your favourite? Um, it's a hard question. Very hard question. We did a show um, called The White Room years ago and we it, it was like uh, Jules Holland where there's one band after another oh, and yeah. we got to do it with Stevie Wonder. Wow. Yeah, so we sang a few other um, Skunk and Nancy, these, these, these old bands and um, Stevie was the, the last and I got to meet him and stuff and it was just... Oh, wow. That was it for me. It was like, it just... A great experience to perform, you know, yeah. with Stevie um, in the same room. However, before the end of 1999, Ultimate Chaos broke up. I couldn't find any information detailing why the group split up. In his recent interview with XOTV in 2020, nothing was said as to why the group had split, and Hayden had nothing but praise for Simon Cowell during his time in Ultimate Chaos. Got picked up by Simon Cowell. He was um, literally at that. Yeah, age. pretty pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got talent. Yeah. I'm taking you. <laughs> Yeah, he's good at spotting talent. Um, he is. Yeah. He's very good at spotting talent. Uh, so yeah, so we, we worked with him. He was an A&R for, for my group in uh, 93, 94. Yeah. Whoa. Quite a long time ago. Long time ago. But yeah, he was a great guy. So it can only be speculated that the group disappeared into obscurity. Gemma has appeared to step away from the spotlight and is currently a managing director of Drop and Go Dispatch LTD. At the time of recording this video, his Instagram page is currently private. I couldn't find any articles or videos with updates as to what Jade has been up to since the group split. His Instagram page is also private. According to his Instagram bio, Ryan is now producer and engineer Ian Ryan and produces beats for various artists including Young Sabre. Ryan is very active on Instagram. According to his Instagram bio, Nick is a Pan-African CMOS importer-exporter, actor, MC, manager and music guru. He is currently active on Instagram.
Shortly after the group split in 1999, Hayden appeared on the television programme Reborn in the USA and finished fourth place in the competition. He also attempted to enter the Eurovision Song Contest, appearing on Eurovision Making Your Mind Up. Hayden also released his solo album Justice in 2009 and appeared in the West End stage musical Thriller Live. Hayden has been in the musical as the lead vocalist for a few years now. In 2011, Hayden provided guest vocals for Professor Green's track Forever Falling. Still doing my solo stuff. I've, you know, I've done features on albums with Professor Green, he's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Done his one of his last albums. Done, you know, a song for Wretch's album, his first album. Cool. So I've kind of always done features with, with, with artists and stuff like that. So he also recorded a few tracks with UK rapper Biggs. It's double, I'm earning. Yes. This is how we do. This is how we're living. Give me one of you can follow any time of the week. According to his Instagram bio, Hayden is currently a singer-songwriter, session singer, actor, DJ and producer, and is quite active on Instagram. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've all enjoyed. For those of you who made it this far, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you all in my next video. Over and out.